This sword comes in from Grand Valley State University. It's got a great profile to it. I think that you really captured the, the look of a Celtic Leafs blade. And uh, it's got a, a mirror polish that's that really well done. I imagine one of you might be a little bit mad at the other of you because the sharpening was going great here and then it came way onto your polished part and missed the edge completely. Even without it, the, the blade is pretty sharp. It did take a little bit of deflection here from the testing and also the, the tip came off during the can stab. I can't really see the grain because it's such a small piece, but it uh, definitely seems like it's, it's a little bit uh, brittle up here at the tip. Coming back to the handle, it's just a bit difficult to hold on to because of the, the small size. You know, if you had to come back a couple more times with this leather wrap, I think it would have bulked it out to the point where it would be much more comfortable. I like the the way that you put in some enamel into the uh, into the casting here to really make this logo pop. I think you did a great job. It's, it's artistically stunning. And I like that all of the parts of the pummel are rounded over so there's nothing biting on me. It's just, just, just that the handle is a little bit small. And uh, this is a pretty thick blade and it's really forward heavy. That's, a lot of this mass could have been taken out from grinding, but all in all, I think you did a, a really cool job, made a really cool looking sword.